Welcome back, friends. I am Nicole. And I'm Brittany. And welcome back to Movie Night with the Youngs. This is our lightning round. So if you have not watched our other movie, we did Lion King this week. Wow. <laughs> we, Brittany and huh? I made a movie, apparently. Yeah, our other movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brittany's in movies. I am not. Um, our last week's podcast. <laughs> was the lion king so yeah. this is our lightning round if you are new here Brittany and i ask and answer questions about the movie and usually you'll get some good stories in there hopefully hopefully mm. today we will there's mm. a question in here that i think will spark something uh oh <laughs> but let's get into it so dun, dun, first dun. question okay. is sorry i'm looking down at my questions i think people know by now yeah probably <laughs> what animals would our family members be Immediate family members. I don't need all the family. <laughs> yeah. Um, our second cousin removed would be exactly. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I, wait, animals in general or animals from this movie? No, it can be animals in general. Oh, animals in general. I feel like. I feel like Dad would be. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting torn towards like a leopard. Okay. I feel like he would be a leopard. Mom, I just honestly think would be like, and not just not to be, I think she's like a hippo or even Timon or Pumbaa because she just <laughs> likes to relax and just like saunter around. She's not like trying to run anywhere mm -hmm. or like be <laughs> aggressive. Like she's just kind of like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Dominic, I could actually see Dominic being like a meerkat. Like, I can feel like Dominic would be like, mm, yeah, mm. yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, <laughs> see him doing that very high uh, energy, yeah. Just like, oh, guys, what get it? Uh, mm -hmm. you, I think, would be oh, that's a hard one. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe you would. I don't know what you would be. Hmm. A rhino. You'd be a rhino. Aren't rhinos aggressive? They're. They <laughs> I just can just. I'm specifically picturing the rhino. <laughs> I'm specifically oh, picturing gosh. the rhinoceros at the end of the stampede in Jumanji. That's like, oh, really? <laughs> We're having a repeat of last week's lightning round when I called you the garage uh, door. But that didn't make sense. I feel like this one, I just feel but like. That doesn't make sense. But no, I just feel like sometimes you have that energy of like being a little bit stubborn and <laughs> you're going to do it your way. Don't clean. I'm going to do it because you're not doing it my way. Like, I think that's you. And then me, I'd probably be, I think I would be a hippo too. I like swimming. Aren't hippos aggressive too? They are. They're actually like one of the most dangerous animals. But like, yeah. I do feel like I can get mean. Like, I'm not a mean person by nature, but when I do get mean, maybe like with the rhinoceros comment, <laughs> I, I can be mean. But I'm gotcha. most of the time kind of like, just floating around cute okay got it okay what about Thanks you for yeah. sharing um dad i see him as like a almost like in the cat not a leopard but maybe like a panther a mountain lion maybe that's what i was thinking of a panther a panther yeah yeah like um in jungle book isn't he a panther bagheera i don't know sure I, think I don't remember that, but yeah, like that's what I see. Yeah, allowed. Mom, I see as some type of bird, like maybe bird. a peacock. Peacock. <laughs> I don't know. I just see her as a bird. Hmm. <laughs> a bird. Dominic, same comment. Um, very high energy, kind of all over the place. Mm. I don't know what an what animals like, like he almost could like a squirrel. <laughs> There's no squirrels in the jungle. <laughs> there isn't, but you could be an antelope because don't they like? Boom, 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 
Oh, bounce kinda... everywhere? Okay, yeah. sure. Do they? Mm. Sure. They're Good always luck. setting off stampedes, apparently. Apparently. Um, mm. You would be... I don't know what you would be. I feel like you could be like a monkey. I could be a monkey. I could yeah. be an orangutan. <laughs> Oh, maybe not an orangutan. I don't see that, but maybe just like how do you a regular monkey? Does that even Does make a, sense? <laughs> no, there's not regular monkeys. <laughs> not an orangutan though. Just a monkey, a plain monkey. All right. And then I would be. Mm, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about your rhino comment, I feel like that does fit, it but does. not the rhino in Jumanji. Specifically, the rhino in Jumanji. No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, now we're moving on <laughs> to the next. I I don't even snort. No, but it's like just it's not that he's snorting. It's like that he's going. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> hey, why am I it. at the back of the pack? Because he can't keep up. Oh. To the contrary, I'm actually a fast runner when I'm not injured. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyways, um, next question. So Mufasa tells Simba he can't go into the dark place past the Pride mm -hmm. Lands. Has mom and dad ever told you a place you couldn't go and you still went anyways? <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. The only thing that's popping into my head is like, dad always buys Oreos and he always like, don't eat any Oreos. And then I will. And then he'll come back and be like, he knew. He'll be like, you had some? But it's not like a place. <laughs> it's just him telling me not to eat his food. Okay. And um, you eat it anyways? <laughs> yeah. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Because he's got like 50 Oreos in the pack. Like he's going to notice three or four missing, but he does. Mm -hmm. So that's why mm -hmm. you got to already take. Here's the trick. You got to already take from the sleeve that is already taken from. Mm -hmm. And you got to get your little fingers underneath the packaging and take from the outside layers. So it doesn't look like the middle is gone. That's very specific. That's, mm -hmm. That seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> um, when I wrote this question, I thought it was going to spark a story, but it really hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was good in theory, but the only thing I can think of is when we were younger, we, not that we had a lot of free reign, but we... Mm -hmm. We went places and traveled a lot alone that I don't think most kids probably do nowadays. Um, mm -hmm. But like our generation definitely would. Like you didn't worry about yeah. your kid being outside type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and we went some far places, took many trains to get to those destinations Yeah, at very young ages. Probably some places we shouldn't have gone that far. Probably. But we always made it back. Yeah. Look at us now. <laughs> We're unscathed. <laughs> True. Yeah. Sorry. I thought it was going to spark something. I mean, I guess I kind of like now that I'm thinking yeah. about it, like this is so sad, but we didn't know any better. Do you remember when we like one time took some flowers from like the graves in Japan? In cemetery. Yes. Brought them back. And mom was like, no, that is so disrespectful. Take yeah. them back. Yeah. Like kind of stuff like that. But it's not that they were like telling us not to go there. It was more yeah. like. You didn't do the right thing when you were there. Yeah. Didn't we try to sell them? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a very proud moment. No. And I don't think we sold any. Probably not. <laughs> Just don't even know why. We didn't need, what would you need money for? I don't know. But why are we taking flowers off of people's graves? We didn't after that. It was a one-time thing. Hmm. Could be why we're haunted as an adult. Okay. <laughs> All right. Haunted. My house has a ghost, but that's for a well, different podcast. Your house doesn't have a ghost. It does. <laughs> Anyways, next question. Rhino! What's, oh, gosh. What's your favorite song in this movie? Oh, I just can't wait to be king. However, though, Circle of Life did hit me pretty hard. Yeah. And I actually think it's very interesting that that was not the Oscar winning song off this movie. It was Can You Feel the Love Tonight, which I'm like, hmm. Circle yeah. of Life seems more like a song that they would have put forward. I believe. Yeah. I would think that too. Yeah. Because you know who helped write the songs was Elton John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very fitting. 
It's a good song. Why is Elton John very fitting to write the music about an African? Because I feel like his animals. I don't know, like his writing, his style is very not that specifically that. I meant like Disney themed movies. Like it doesn't oh. surprise me that he wrote a song for a Disney movie. Sure, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess that's a good example. Yeah. <laughs> um, but mine too is I just can't wait to be king. It's a good one. It was a good one. And you said, you mentioned earlier, we actually had this soundtrack. We did, but I think it was specifically to play that song. Hmm. Like, I don't really know, besides like Circle of Life and Can You Feel the Love Tonight, I don't really know any other song. Oh, Hukun, Akun Matata. Yeah. But what other songs are on the soundtrack? Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Which I also wanted to know, in Akuna Matata, we didn't really talk about the song, but like, there's a whole thing where like, Pumbaa starts talking about his past. And how, like, nobody wanted to hang out with him because he smelled. Did he smell or it was because he was farting? I think it's because he was farting. Because, like, he said, like, none of my friends wanted to stand downwind. But you never hear him fart. True. Hmm. Hmm. It's a mystery. Love that that's on a podcast now. You never hear him fart. <laughs> that's what you get when you turn into our podcast. We want to hear um, it. <laughs> next question. Mm-hmm. Final question. Okay. Um, so in the movie, Timon and Pumbaa, they eat bugs. Yeah. Have you ever eaten something that maybe, how would you explain it? That be like was gross? Yeah, gross. Or, or you thought it was gross? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? My fiance is Irish. So not that Irish food is that much different, but they do eat lamb over there. And I had a lot of trouble. It's not anything that's like crazy out there. But like for me, I had a lot of trouble wrapping my head around eating lamb. Mm. And it was very like I I really when I was eating it, like I kind of didn't I didn't finish it. And I kind of the whole time was like just like bits and pieces of it. Like I don't know why in my head I was like I can't eat. Can't eat a little baby sheep. (laughs) Lamb is kind of gamey too. But it wasn't even that. It was like mentally I couldn't get over the hurdle of it for some reason. Picturing the actual animal. Yeah, or, like, we also had, like, duck, which, again, like, isn't anything, mm. but, like, and I thought I thought the duck was quite good, but mm. I was just, like, I can't, I don't know, I can't get over the fact that this is a duck. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Mm. Oh, not why. What about you? <laughs> why? <laughs> why are you asking me that? It's one more question. Um, I have tried, I'm not going to say eaten, I have tried a chocolate-covered cricket. Hmm. in arizona but like oh. literally just a piece yeah didn't eat or swallow just like and then spit it out yeah why do people do that like if you do watch on things where they eat they're like <laughs> like they freak out <laughs> that's what i was doing why it's probably that mental thing like you just said it's just the thought of eating Ugh, no i mean i never ate it but i remember growing up in japan you and like your friend, Jenna, Asa, Lindsay, you guys used to like put a bunch of gross stuff in a bowl, like spaghetti and yogurt oh. and all these things. And you made me like close my eyes and put my fingers in it. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever make me eat it? Uh, I have no idea. But I remember definitely you guys would be like, close your eyes, close your eyes. And I'd be like, oh, it's guts and it's brains. Sorry, we probably tormented you as a child. Yeah, you guys were very nice. I mean, that didn't really affect me, that <laughs> part. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if I ate it. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. But, yep, that is the last question. Woohoo! That was our lightning round for Lion King. If you have any um, weird stories, weird things you've eaten, you should share with us. Comment down below. We want to YouTubers. Yes, I'd be curious. There's a lot of interesting stuff out there. We were just talking about Fear Factor before this, too, so. <laughs> yeah which for those people who weren't that generation don't know they ate a lot of strange things on that show yeah exactly but thank you for tuning in we really do appreciate it all of you on the podcast platforms and here on youtube um if you do have a moment you should check us out over on instagram we are at movie night underscore podcast and next week we are doing aladdin mm-hmm. i already forgot what movie <laughs> we are doing aladdin <laughs> If you haven't seen our original podcast of The Lion King, we will link it in the description down below. But 
We op- hope you all had a wonderful week and we will see you next time. Thanks, all right. everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.